Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It's Friday. It's been a short week. I think I mentioned earlier in the week that we had a statutory holiday on Monday, Labor Day, I think a whole of North America, uh, the US and here in Canada, we have that holiday in September. And it's wonderful because it makes a little break and kind of marks the end of summer, which is unfortunate. But you also get only a four day week on the other side. So here we are, it's Friday. So crazy busy day for me today. It was crazy busy day yesterday. Sorry, I did not do a video. Uh, I don't even think I did a listing. So um, anyway, we'll talk about that after. So here we are again, back in my little stash of leather um, organizers and all that kind of thing. I was just in the shed to get this little baby out and I found a couple of little kind of just uh, memo folders and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet because they're really not significant enough to be able to absorb the shipping costs and the listing fees and all that kind of thing. So I don't know, maybe I'll take them to Art Crawl with me tomorrow. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is another day runner offering. Now, this one is a little bit more um, lux, I'm going to say, than the one I listed yesterday, which I think I've put it away already. Um, because I remember telling you that I sold uh, Filofax a month or two ago and I couldn't find the damn thing. So I'm being very, very careful. So this guy is a nice kind of caramel leather, beautiful condition. There is a little mark, I don't even know, you can see it right there. But to be honest, I think it's just a blemish in the hide. Um, it doesn't, there's no uh, trail of damage or wear. It's just, you know me, I like to show you everything. So inside we have... Um, a pen holder, a little slip pocket, another slip pocket. This is all suede or almost a new buck. And then you've got your uh, leather trim to match the exterior. There's your day runner. This, the inserts in this are complete. You've got your um, business card flap, your little multi-purpose I love these plastic things then you have a calendar and you have all the months which is quite rare to find you've got your phone book you've got all the letters again which maybe not quite so rare to find and then just um, notes to do contacts projects expenses and then you've got a receipt envelope. I'm having a hot flash right now. Ooh. Um, finances, a little, I don't know what they're for, and a little uh, notepad. And then on the back, again, this suede finish, there's some uh, business card slots. Now there are a couple of little marks here but nothing that is going to be significant you see the sweat oh my god oh you like my t-shirt stay calm and buy a bigger purse I had these made for me a few years ago just by somebody local and to be honest the letters don't stay so I'm not really um, I might wear it tomorrow. Actually, no, because it's going to be really sunny tomorrow. And you know me, I'm such a sun worshiper. Um, yeah, I'll wear it. I'll just wear it for my videos. Maybe Look how big it is. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I wasn't going to go to the gym today because I woke up this morning and I was so sore and I just thought, you know what? I'm doing too much, but then the guilt kicks in and I've been explaining it to Pius because he has been working out every day this week because we need to be careful of um, 
you know, we are getting older and it needs to be um, a healthy getting older because we've discussed, we've just found each other and we don't want anybody going anywhere unnecessarily. And with the passing of Queen Elizabeth yesterday, um, it just kind of makes you reflect and um, realize that, you know, you want to make the most out of every day. So um, Pius really had a rough time over the summer getting motivated and he's done every day. Now, not a lot of working out because what ha is happening now and definitely the journey I experienced and why I went to the gym today after all is because it's, I don't enjoy it. I don't love it. I don't look forward to it. I do it because I have to. I enjoy when it's over and I feel guilty if I don't go and it just gives me an element of confidence that I just don't have without it and it's the getting started that is the hardest part for the first I'm going to say the first three months of my getting back into working out I've always worked out I've always been a big woman and I've always needed to have exercise in my life but I've gone two three years like when I started working out probably three or four years ago, it had been three or four years since I had worked out last. So my job when I first started was just to get there. I would get there and I would do five minutes. That's it. I didn't care about what I did when I got there. It was just the getting there. And having that approach really, really helped because here I am four years later and I'm in the gym five days a week now. And I don't mind missing it if I'm going somewhere. Like last week we were up north, Thursday, Friday. No problem at all. But if I don't go just because I'm too sore or too tired, it starts messing with my brain. So Pius has been doing something every day, even last night. Didn't get home till like 8 o'clock last night. He went downstairs into his gym and did a little bit. I'm so proud of him. So proud of you, baby cakes. And... Um, yeah, and that's how it starts. So we're never going to be skinny minis. I don't want to be a skinny mini. I've got maybe eight, ten pounds more to lose, and then I am done. I don't want to be a bag of wrinkles, which, unfortunately, if you're very slim as you get older, that's what happens. Having a little bit of weight keeps you nice and plump, keeps your skin. Like, I'm noticing my arms right here are starting to really wrinkle because you know I've lost weight and that skin it doesn't wave just right up here too much information right <laughs> but anyway whatever welcome to the leather bag lady show it's all good so I did go to the gym and I'm about to go uh, another half hour I'm gonna be leaving to go and pick up my clients and it's a beautiful day outside. It's going to be 30 degrees today, Leather Bag Lady weather report. It was supposed to rain tomorrow. wasn't even sure I was going to get to Super Crawl tomorrow. But I'm going for just tomorrow. It starts today, tonight. Um, so I will be up probably 4 in the morning to get to the um, venue or the street, James Street, to get my spot. Because if you're not in the right spot, may as well never happen or you are going to be packing up at 6 30 7 o'clock because there's no light so we shall see if i get there at 4 30 in the morning and all the good spots are taken i don't know i have to decide what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna be i'm gonna take a whole bunch of stuff little wee things that are really not eligible for etsy I'm going to take belts. I have two totes full of vintage belts. So I'm going to take belts. I've never taken belts before. I got to start clearing this place out because uh, I need to make room. <laughs> Again, I said we will share a little more information on that a little closer to the end of the year. But um, that's a little hint. So anyway, um, what else is going on? Nothing much. Just uh, doing my thing. I'm hungry. I'm really hungry right now. So when I go and pick up my clients, we go to Tim Hortons and I have a donut. That was part of the reason why I had to go to the gym today. There's no way I could have a donut and not feel really guilty. Now, did you know, 
just before I go, that a chocolate chunk cookie at Tim Hortons is 20 calories more than a chocolate dip donut. Who knew? I would have a cookie because I would think it would be the least. And a chocolate dip donut is even less calories than an old fashioned plain, which I never thought. I thought they were the same. I don't know, maybe I'm getting a little too paranoid, but I have never looked so good and I feel great. Everything is fitting me. I love trying on everything every day because it's like, woohoo! And I encourage you all out there, if you're struggling with getting started, use that trick that I did. Whatever your method of exercise is, whether it's an aerobics class, uh, running, just even walking, going to the gym, don't worry about what you're doing. Just worry about getting there. If you're going to go for a walk, just get to where you're going to start walking. If you go into the gym, just get there. Get there, get out of your car, get in, sit on something for 10 minutes. That's such a dirty mind. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, just go and do it and enjoy getting back into not beating the shit out of yourself every day because yet another day has passed when you didn't do what you said you were going to do when you opened your eyes in the morning. Now, we watched my video the other day and the angle of this camera makes my boobs look huge. There we go. They're not that big. And I got the Mexican hats in. I should show you them, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to dig into my bra and pull them out right now. Pius will be pissing his pants laughing when he watches this. <laughs> anyway, everybody, have a great weekend. Um, tomorrow is Super Crawl. Sunday, we'll probably be recovering from Super Crawl. I think there was something Pius wanted to do on Sunday. Actually, on Facebook, I just saw that there is a bike ride to an ice cream store um, at the Rockton Fairgrounds. I don't know something we could do but it is supposed to rain so um beautiful day today beautiful day tomorrow but it is going to rain on sunday so far so anyway everybody have a great one and i'll talk to you next week bye